we're back again. And I heard a quote this week that really made me think about something. And it made me think about a product that we have too that we've heard some good feedback on. And I just wanted to share this idea. So she, this lady, and I, sorry, I don't remember her name. I heard her on a TED Talk. And she made the comment about marriages. And she said, um, in the U.S., most of us will have two or three marriage relationships. A lot of us will have the relationship with the same person. Mm. And what she was say, went on to say was, the way our marriage looks and functions at the beginning of our marriage, when we're first married to each other, isn't how it's going to look and function 20 years in or 30 years in. And the question was, do you want to build a second marriage together? And I thought that was so sweet in this time where a lot of people are coming out of stressful times in relationships, stressful times in lives, in our life with uh, the pandemic and everything we've been that we that's been going on since March I, of last year. There are a lot of headlines about the benefits of divorce and leaving toxic people behind in your life and those types of things. So to hear her TED talk about how marriage changes and then invite your spouse into creating a second marriage together was really a neat perspective to me. I love that Mm -hmm. because so Ben and I now have been married 21 years. Mm -hmm. We're 21 and a half now. And so as you were saying that, I was thinking, I definitely feel we're probably on our second marriage right now. Maybe our third. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If I go through phases that we've um, been over the years, that's a really interesting concept. And I do really love it because if we expect things to be the whole time Mm -hmm. the way it was in our newlywed phase, Mm -hmm. Or maybe the newlywed phase was hard because of adjustments. For Ben and I, it wasn't. Like, we fell straight into, I'm living with my best friend, living my best life, you know? It wasn't until years down the road that we really had our first stumbling block to maneuver and things, you know, it wasn't everything that I thought marriage was going to be. Like, we had hurts to deal with. Mm -hmm. But I love that concept because, yes, if our expectations is, we went in and we had our best life right in the beginning and we, our best marriage and we expect it to be exactly that way throughout, we are going to be disappointed. Yeah, and she was even talking about in reference to affairs. I just remember the name of the TED Talk. It was, Why Happy People Cheat. Mm. And she said most marriages survive the affair. But there's other things that come up that you just, instead of embracing the unity and the honesty that can come out of having an affair, if two people are working towards it, there's more closed offness. And one of the things that we created were these marriage cards. And as we're going into the holidays and thinking about being together, and sometimes the holidays are more stressful and taxing Mm -hmm. on relationships, one, what a beautiful opportunity to invite your spouse saying, you know what, I don't think either one of us really like where we are right now or how we're showing up for each other or how we're showing up for ourselves. In having that dialogue of, do we want to, do you want to create a second marriage with me? It almost invites newness and like a refreshing and excitement around it. And these cards that we have, we intentionally design these mm-hmm. each day to speak into a different facet of your relationship. Mm-hmm. And they're quick. The first one says, tell your spouse a funny story from your childhood. So the point of that is just to have the communication and the closeness there. But you were telling me about a sweet story that you 
recently saw how some men interacted with these cards yes. when you offered it to a group. So I took them with me to some meetings that I attended and mm-hmm. offered them up to the room. Mm-hmm. And I, in this particular room, I had a group of men that immediately decided to go ahead and make the purchase. Um, I did say to them that this is... This is one of the best referrals they can have because they're going to take it home and say, hey, honey, like I have something awesome for our marriage. So right. So I had this, these three particular men ended up each buying a pack of cards. Mm-hmm. So they sat down and opened them up while they were just chatting. But one, I think one of them opened it up and so the other one did too. And they started flipping through the cards, taking a look at them. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, this one is awesome. So they're talking amongst themselves. I'm off in the distance just watching it happen. They're like, this this one's really good. Another guy goes, oh, I'm going to win some brownie points for this, <laughs> bringing <laughs> right. these home. And then they're, and they're giggling about things and looking mm-hmm. at them and just, and just telling me how awesome they are. Every so often, Nicole, these are awesome. And I thought, oh, like it was such a sweet moment for me because A, yeah. often we feel like, as wives, because we feel drained by the daily, I'm taking care of kids, I'm taking care of a husband, I'm going to have to try to feed my marriage too. The fact that these guys Mm -hmm. purchased them, and I thought, oh, these wives are going to be like really excited when they bring them home and say, hey, I got this for us. Um, I think that one of the cards that they pulled up and and were like, yeah, it was a physical touch card. Mm -hmm. But the physical touch cards in here, even there's physical touch that is encouraged in a non-sexual manner and so the cards aren't just to feed what's a guy gonna like and what's a girl gonna like Mm -hmm. it's to feed your time together and so they just watching those guys go through it and enjoy looking at them I felt so encouraged by that because ultimately when I when I'm in my BNI role it's to help businesses be healthy Mm -hmm. but I also believe that Healthy home lives help make healthy business people. 100%. So that was exciting for me to see those guys get so encouraged and um, excited about the cards. Yeah, and, and they're inviting. The things that are in here are inviting. They're not intimidating. They're little ways to pour in, like you said, to different areas. There are physical touch cards. Um, and non-sexual touch, we've talked about it. If you are, if you're new to this, and you're like, "What are you talking about?" Non-sexual touch, we've t- we we've talked about that. So go back and listen to some of those and how important that is in a relationship. Recreational intimacy mm-hmm. is in here, and it's fun things for you and your spouse. And one of the guys said out loud. So there was another guy in the room that was part of that group, but he didn't buy any cards. And somebody said, "Well, he only got married." six months ago he's they go oh he's in the newlywed phase he doesn't need him I said yes he does yes because what this does is open up conversation and if you start early it becomes a habit throughout your relationship so that you don't have to one day look at each other and be like I don't even know you anymore right like I feel like these are great wedding gifts Mm -hmm. like start off your marriage you know having random conversations and making sure that sometimes we tend to feed into a way that we like to be fed into but that doesn't mean that our spouse Mm -hmm. is going to feel loved by the same things we feel loved by Mm -hmm. and one of the things we were super specific about when we created this deck is making sure that all the five love languages are being addressed throughout the deck yes so that i'm able to fill my husband's tank and my tanks being filled and because we don't have the same love languages we are able to recognize that throughout and we do Mm -hmm. and one of the cards is to figure out what your spouse your and your spouse's love language is Mm -hmm. that is such an important thing to know yep and we wanted to do a 30-day deck um we thought let's do this for 30 days let's do this for 30 days but then we had a bonus to add another weekend. So there are 37 days of doing these fun activities. Sometimes it's buying a little treat, um, which is a gift, but it doesn't have to be big. Not, none of this is time consuming or emotionally consuming or it consumes a lot of energy, but it builds all of those things, I think. Well, one of the other things, I didn't tell you this story yet, but uh-huh. somebody came up to me that purchased them afterwards and said, my husband is only home, every three weeks he's home 14 days. She goes, so I'm not going to be able to do the deck straight through. 
And I said, but what an awesome way to plug into each other for those 14 days he's home Mm -hmm. and then the next 14 days that he's home. And, you know, so, and she's like, I know, I think this would be really great. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're in that situation that, you know, one of this, one of you travels, coming back home is tough. Like Mm -hmm. it's, you got re-entry and exit again, re-entry and exit again. So I thought, I left and I was like, this is going to be awesome for her because this will be a re-entry plan to connect for the next couple months. So you know what would be fun if she wanted to do these and her husband travels and one of them might say, get your spouse their favorite treat. If she were to put that in there and say, do not open until Thursday or whatever that day would be, that would be fun or have a little delivery to the hotel room like, that would be a fun thing to do. It would be fun. I love these cards, so I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of them. Mm-hmm. I love them too. I think they're great. I love the intentionality we put behind them because it really speaks into different aspects of the relationship, and we know that's a really important relationship in our life. And when we are connecting and moving forward in life with our spouse. There's not so much tension and frustration and uh, pulling away of what other areas we need to be serving and how we show up in the lives of other people. Um, And also, it's no fun to live in that tension and angst with other people, you know? That just really takes a drain on you, but sometimes you don't know how to reconnect. And it seems like, oh, it's going to be such a big deal. These cards are so fun. So you can purchase these online. It makes it super easy. Yep, just go to our website. Yep, you can go to our website. We'll also put the link in this podcast episode so you can order straight from there. We wanted to make them super affordable so that anybody could get them. It would be a great stocking stuffer if you could wait till Christmas, but I would encourage you to do it now. Like, let it be an early Christmas present. I think they're also a great wedding gift. So having them on hand to put into wedding gifts for Mm -hmm. couples, I think that um, I think it's a great way to start your marriage. That's a cute idea. It would also be a great uh, one-year anniversary gift. I agree. If you are interested in connecting with us with what we do with coaching, if if maybe your relationship is off and you just don't know how to get it back on track, not even with your spouse, but maybe it's another relationship in your life or you feel stuck in your career or there's a relationship in in your work situation that is just holding you back, you're stuck, it's draining your energy and you don't know what to do. That's what we do. That's what coaching is about. Finding those obstacles, finding those strongholds in our lives and letting go of them so that we can show up in life the way we're meant to, that we can live in the fullness of what we've been created to be. Reach out to us. Go to our website at www.liveyourdesign.life. Drop us a note. We would love to connect with you. Until next time.